Stories like these often get buried or downplayed by mainstream outlets. And when someone tries to highlight them, the pushback is swift. Why? Because as long as India's rise remains a myth, it's easier for global non-performers to dismiss it and stay ahead. But that's exactly why we need to talk about these milestones. India's hydrogen moment has arrived. The roar of turbines, the hum of innovation. Somewhere in India, the country's first green hydrogen plant fires up. Not just powering machines, but igniting a movement. A movement that could redefine the nation's energy future. Hydrogen, once in production, is far more versatile than traditional electric vehicle technology. It can power everything, from ships to planes, from tanks to jets, from cars to motorcycles, and from trucks to bulldozers. <coughs> to bulldozers. This isn't just mobility. It's about transforming how entire industries move, operate, and grow. With the launch of the National Green Hydrogen Mission, backed by a colossal 19,744 crore rupees, India has declared its intent to produce 5 million metric tons of green hydrogen annually by 2030. This isn't a policy announcement. It's an energy revolution. India's ambitions don't stop at production. The long-term vision includes mastering technologies like permanent magnets and super alloys, used in everything from fuel cell to aerospace systems. If successful, India won't just export hydrogen, it will export the engines of the future. The big question now is, can India dethrone China in the global hydrogen race? India's hydrogen push isn't just government-led. It's a full-spectrum effort involving public giants, private titans and global alliances. National Thermal Power Corporation has launched pilot projects in green hydrogen blending and mobility. Indian Oil Corporation is working on green hydrogen plant in Mathura. Reliance Industries has committed to becoming a global leader in green hydrogen by 2030. Adani New Industries Limited is developing a $50 billion hydrogen ecosystem in Gujarat. India is also building electrolyzer manufacturing facilities to power its hydrogen future, with companies like Ohium, Greenco and LNT taking the lead. Hydrogen corridors are being planned across industrial belts, and the government is actively promoting the creation of hydrogen valleys to concentrate production, research and consumption in key zones. On the global front, India is partnering with Australia's Fortescue Future Industries, Germany's H2 Global Initiative, Japan's Jogmec, and UAE's Mazda. Together, they're setting the stage for green hydrogen export hubs across Indian ports. But it's not all smooth sailing. India still faces major hurdles. No nationwide hydrogen pipeline network exists yet. However, India already has a robust network of transporting compressed natural gas, especially for cars and auto rickshaws. This expertise and infrastructure will be leveraged to transport hydrogen efficiently across the country. Electrolyzer systems cost a lot, which currently drives up production costs. But India is partnering with countries like Japan to ramp up electrolyzer manufacturing at scale bringing down price through economics of scale and tech transfer. Land and water use for green hydrogen production has sparked environmental concerns. However, a unique advantage of hydrogen is that its byproduct during usage is pure water, a victorious cycle that could help offset the very concerns it raises. Bureaucratic red tape and approval delays are hampering private sector execution. But this isn't unique to India. Every democracy struggles with balancing regulation and rapid development. 
The key is that India is actively streamlining approvals through single window clearances and fast track zones. The government is responding with faster clearances, incentive packages and a single window portal for hydrogen related projects. But execution will be key. By 2030, India's hydrogen economy is projected to be worth 8 to 10 billion US dollars, creating hundreds of thousands of green jobs. This isn't just about exports. It's about reducing crude oil imports, cutting carbon emissions, and making India energy independent. India is also piloting hydrogen-powered trains, heavy-duty trucks, and even considering aviation fuel alternatives. If successful, India will not just catch up in the energy race, it will lead it. Is green hydrogen the fuel that finally makes India energy independent? Can India leapfrog fossil fuel and beat China at its own game? Drop in the comments if you believe India can lead the green hydrogen revolution. Let the world know we are not playing catch up we're building the future. Like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into India's technological and energy revolutions.